this is Melissa Muir. Welcome back for another Tool Time Tuesday. Today I'm going to talk a little bit about filing a piece flat on the back side, not necessarily on the edges like you would normally think about filing. So in this case we have two rough cut pieces uh, that have been formed with a hydraulic press so they're both domed. We are going to be soldering these two pieces together. But in order to do that, I need to make certain that I've got a good surface on the back sides of each of them to solder together. So what I'm going to do is place it face down on a file, hold my file, and move my piece back and forth to file off that edge. Two things are happening here. One, your file only cuts in one direction. As I push my piece to the end or the handle is when that filing action happens. So I will push my piece down and push it down towards the handle but so that I don't have to spend a lot of energy to lift my hand back up and then replace my piece I'll just slide it back on the file and then again as I come down towards the handle I'll put my forward pressure another thing too is it is kind of difficult to move a flat piece on a flat file it, sometimes it wants to grab so a quick little tip I can give you on that is just to take a little bit of blue painters tape fold it over onto itself so that it sticks onto your fingers here place it onto your piece and then you can move your piece back and forth much easier so in the case of these two pieces and you can kind of see as the light hits it where we have filed away the flat edge and I'm going to continue to file until I've come where it starts into the, the dip of this uh, formed piece. And then once I have those two flat, I will solder the two pieces together. Now, another thing I'll point out is that with that is I do have a little hole. In this case, I happen to have a flower, so it worked perfectly. We just drilled a little hole right in the middle of the flower. And that's going to allow gases to escape so that I don't blow the piece up with the fumes and the gases. So you always want to make sure that you have a little fume escape. So there's a quick little tip for you to use your blue painter's tape and using your files.